Let's face it, SSDs are everywhere. But when it comes to NVMe SSDs, not so much. Seemed like Intel had a chokehold on that market. That is, until Samsung came along. So first off, what is NVMe? Well, it stands for Non-Volatile Memory Express. It's a protocol developed specifically for solid-state drives by a consortium of vendors including Intel, Samsung, SanDisk, Dell, and Seagate. Basically, what it does is improve the user experience by reducing its latency. I mean, SSDs are fast, but NVMe SSDs take it to a whole nova level. Last year, we saw Intel come out with their 750 series SSDs, the first available NVMe drives in half-height PCIe format and 2.5-inch format. Sequential reads and write speeds for the 1.2 terabyte versions that we have are 2,500 megabytes per second and 1,200 megabytes per second, respectively. But of course, with those kinds of speeds, also comes with the price tag. And now, in comes Samsung with the introduction of the 950 Pro SSDs. These drives come in an M.2 PCIe interface. The version we have here today can have a potential sequential read speeds of 2200 megabytes per second and write speeds of 900 megabytes per second. That sounds great on paper, but how about some real everyday numbers? We install both the Samsung drive and the Intel drive in our Zen 97 system and through some benchmark software at them. In Crystal Dismark, our average sequential read and write speeds for the Intel 750 were 636 megabytes per second and 765.7 megabytes per second, respectively. Meanwhile, for the Samsung drive, average sequential read and write speeds were 756.8 megabytes per second and 735.75 megabytes per second, respectively. In Is My Hard Drive OK reads were an average of 560.95 megabytes per second and the writes were 726.28 megabytes per second for the Intel 750. And for the Samsung, average sequential reads were 735.91 megabytes per second and sequential writes were 710.7 megabytes per second. So in those benchmarks, both drives don't reach their theoretical speeds but the Intel's read speeds were quite a bit slower than the Samsung Pro. Meanwhile, the write speeds for the Intel were just marginally faster than the Samsung. So what does this all mean? Well, for one, never completely believe what the packaging says. The more important thing here is that we see that Intel is no longer the only viable option when it comes to NVMe SSDs. And while these drives are still a quite bit more expensive than your average SSD, the 950 Pro from Samsung is a breath of fresh air for the professionals out there who want cutting edge performance, higher bandwidth and lower latency from their high-end PC or workstation. And as an added bonus, the Samsung drive carries a five-year warranty and for the model that we have here today, the 256 gig model, it's rated for 200 terabytes written. That's over 780 writes to the drive. And if you're interested in the Samsung 950 Pro, click over here or the link in the description for pricing and details. Thank you so much for watching. Check out previous videos from us for over here. Maybe give us a follow on the Twitterverse over here, but as always, don't forget to like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more. Like this from NCIX. We'll see you later. Webos. <laughs>